Che, welcome to the club. How excited are you to get this deal over the line? Oh yeah, over the moon. Um, you know, I, I spoke to the gaffer um, a few weeks ago. Um, spoke to my family, spoke to my close ones. Um, you know, I had a few options, but it just re it just felt like this was right for me. So um, yeah, you know, buzzing. Can't wait to get started. You know what I mean? I'm not too far behind. Um, obviously, I know the guy, the lads were back yesterday. So, you know, I'm, I'm not playing too much catch up, but I'm sure there's a lot of running and a lot of physical work to, to get on board with. So, yeah. You're from Wolverhampton, I believe. Is it a bit nicer to be a bit close to home? You've still got family there? Yeah, I've got family in uh, Wolverhampton, Birmingham. So I'm not, you know, uh, quite local. Um, obviously, for me, I'd be trying to come over and be, be close to Shrewsbury. You know, I'm coming down for, here for business, really. You know, as much as I will be seeing family, um, I want to be close so, you know, I can do, my, do the right training and, um, I don't like to be too far away from, from where I'm working because at the end of the day it's about business. So your first day at the training ground and I'm sure you've been to the stadium at times throughout your career. What do you make of the facilities that we've got at Shrewsbury Town? Well it's a growing club. Um, I know a few people um, that have been at this club. Um, some that are you know, considered club legends like uh, Dave, Dave Edwards. Um, and obviously got close friends, um, you know, Connor Golson being here before, like he's, you know, I consider him he's gone on to big things and stuff like that. So when speaking to them, uh, that caliber player, you know, they've only had good things to say about Shrewsbury. Um, it's a fam family, family club um, and they are pushing in the right direction to, to, you know, push the club to try and get promoted and, and, and go, to the, go the right way. So, you know, it's, it's, it's all been positive from what I've heard. How would you describe yourself as a player? So I'd say I'm definitely committed, um, uh, physical. Um, I can pick a pass when I need to pick a pass. Um, but with that comes with experience, um, you know, got knowledge of the game. Um, I watch a lot of football away from, you know, playing it. So, you know, um, dominant in the air um, and hopefully I can chip in with a, <laughs> with a few goals here and there, you know. You're obviously a central defender, but looking at your stats, you've got some decent prowess going forward as well. 34 goals and eight assists across your career, I believe. And I mean, well, that's quite nice to see from a defender. Do you, would you say it's your is it physical prowess from set pieces, something like that, that gets you your goals, or is it something different that you think? Well, um, you know, as a centre half, I, I feel like you know, throughout my career, um, going up for set pieces, I don't like to just make up the numbers. If I'm going up there, I'm going in there, going up there with intention. Um, intention to try and score. Obviously, sometimes the ball doesn't come my way, uh, but if it does come in around my area, you know I've got to be ready to to attack and be a threat. It might not necessarily be a goal, but it might be an assist. You know, heading back again uh, across a uh, goal, but you know, in my time, not all of them are headers as well. Some of them have been like poachers' goals. Um, if you've if you've seen any of them, so. You know, when I do go up, I'm not just going up there to make up numbers. I know a few centre halves just go up there and it's like a jolly up, and it's like, oh yeah, let me see if I can actually go up there with intention. So um, it, it has been something that's been a part of my game, and hopefully that continues moving forward. Have you played with any of the lads we've got here before? Yeah, so um, I haven't played with them directly. Um, you know, I played against Bowman. Um, you know, when my time when I was in the conference, so um, I, I kind of know him. Um, away from actually being a teammate. Uh, I know Oud, um, he, he was a young lad when I was at Kiddy. He was a young lad, he come on trial um, and obviously he went away, learnt his craft and now he's, you know, he's, he's, he's doing well for himself now. You know, he's scoring a lot of goals and he's, he's, on, he's, on, way, he's on the way up. Um, and I know because of being a local lad, I know, I know Benno, do you know what I mean? He's, you know, he's come, done his trade through at, at Wolves. You know, I follow Wolves. Um, he's known that I am a Wolves fan, so and um, I'm very close with his brother, so um, you know I know I know Benno, I know Elliot well. We've heard that the managers' pre-seasons can be particularly difficult. <laughs> is that something you're looking forward to? Or is that not quite the right phrase? Uh, I don't think any player is looking forward to pre-season. I think pre-season is a thing where you you build yourself, you get building blocks. Um, of course, you want it to be hard because you know if it's a hard pre-season, you're getting fitter, but. Um, I wouldn't say it's something that I'm looking forward to. Um, you know, the gaffer's been at really some some top clubs, and I mean, he knows what he's doing, and that's one of the reasons why I've, I've you know, put pen to paper. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't say I'm looking forward <laughs> forward to it, but yeah, it has to be done, doesn't it? It has to be done. 
we're off to Spain next week. Is that something that you can say you're looking forward to? <laughs> it depends how you take it. Obviously, you know, Spain's a lovely country. It's probably going to be warmer. Um, but is it is it going to be uh, to our benefit, warmer running in that heat? I'm not too sure. <laughs> but, um, you know, if we do get a bit of downtime, um, that that would be something to look forward to. But I'm sure it would be hard out there. But wouldn't have it any other way. You started off your career crew, moved to Hensford in 2010, and you went to Kidderminster Harry as well. You really seem to start to make a name for yourself. How would you describe your time at Kidderminster? Um, it was really good. You know what I mean? It was a, a time where I was young, um, had to learn my trade. There was a few senior players there at the time, so I wasn't actually going in there to be... At first, when I got signed by Steve Burr, he, you know, I wasn't you know, bought in to be straight away a, a first-team first player, playing week in, week out, but... You know, because of results, because of, um, you know, a few injuries, I, I ended up getting in very early and, you know, I took my chance. Um, I ended up making my way through at Kidderminster as a first-team player at a young age. So that was obviously good for my development. Um, and another family club, I enjoyed it there. Um, and, yeah, you know, I think non-league is... is it's. You see it a lot. You see a lot of players coming from non-league uh, this, this this day and age. Uh, before, you know, maybe 15, 20 years ago, you know, it wasn't it wasn't a big thing. But with some of the likes of names who have gone through non-league and actually gone on to go to heights of playing for England, you know, I think it's definitely a place where you can get quality. Um, you know, if if you look hard enough. So. Um, you know, I wouldn't say I was fortunate because I did put in the hard work, and I, you know, but you do need a little bit of luck to get uh, noticed. And I think whilst I was at Kiddy, I put in some real good performances, um, and and you know, got a lot of goals whilst I was there, and and I was able to get the right eyes on me in order to make that transition into the football league. You then earned football league experience with Oxford United, and then earned a move to Wigan Athletic, and won the league with them in 2018. Played 43 games that season, scored seven goals. What made you and the rest of that team work so well that season? I think first and foremost we were a close bunch. You know, we had talent. Um, it was a team that come down uh, from the championship the year before I joined. Um, I was going in there with um, a few high-profile players. Um, if I was being fair to myself. But I didn't see, you know, I, I went in there and I, I knew what my job and my role was. But as a team, one of the main things for success for me is to have that togetherness, you know, uh, knowing that your teammate's going to run that extra distance for you. Um, and also striving for the same thing, you know what I mean? I think everybody was striving to get that promotion. Um, nobody was had their own agendas. Um, and of course, that does creep into football, you know, people have their personal goals, of course. But because we were so driven um, and we knew exactly what we wanted, um, it was it was a possibility. Um, but again, um, we, we did have a real strong team. If you look at the likes of the names that were there, you know, without name mentioning that, you know, some of them are have gone on to you know playing in the Prem now. So um, and rightfully so. So it was it was a good team. But also, I think one of the main core factors was that togetherness um, and striving towards the same goal. You then had two more years at Wigan and then spent the last two years at Sheffield Wednesday. How do you describe your time at Wednesday? It's a, it's a massive club, you know, um, some good people down there. I um, haven't got nothing bad to say about, about the club. I just think it was probably wrong timing, uh, wrong time, wrong timing for me personally. I would have liked to play a lot more games than I did. Um, you know, I signed there when I was injured, you know, I'd, I'd come off, you know, I'd broken my leg, which was a, a, a nasty one, uh, but I've fully recovered from that. Um, it was just a case of, it was a bit frustrating, I'll be, under, uh, I'll be honest, it was a bit frustrating on my behalf because I wanted to buy a lot more games than I did. Um, my qualities did show there. I think uh, the people over there, fans, uh, staff, knew exactly what I was about and inside the club, they knew exactly what I was about in terms of, you know, um, that togetherness, the leadership qualities, which just comes as a given anyway for me. Um, but on a personal, I would have liked to play a lot more games than I did. You know, I had, I think I had six or seven managers at, at the time of being here because of switches and changes. Um, you know, the manager who I actually was signed under, I, I wasn't able to even play a game for him uh, because he wasn't in the job long enough for me to be um, to, to play. Um, so it was going through a transition period, which that can happen at clubs, um, and I think they've, they've you know, they've, they've stabled themselves 
Um, so you know that'll be a, a tough challenge to go up there because it's you know it's a big massive club. They've got some great players there, but um, you know for me personally, it was it wasn't a it was a, not the club was brilliant, but for me personally, I would have liked to have played a lot more games, and I think everybody knows that. Fair enough. And then just finally, now you're here at Shrewsbury, you've spoken to the manager. Has he set you any sort of targets or vague aims for your time here? No, like listen, it was general. It was a general chat. I think he, he you know, he's been in the game long enough. Um, he would have done his research on me as a player. Um, what sold it to me really is, you know, because he's he's also got promoted from this division as well with uh, uh, Bristol City, I believe. Um, so, you know, he's got experience of, of, of winning the league. I've got experience of um, actually winning the league. And it, it's going to be tough, you know. Um, there's, there'll be 12, 15 teams, probably even more teams that are, are striving to achieve what we're trying to achieve, which is to get promoted, whether that's through playoffs or whether that's through... Um, automatics so it's definitely going to be tough uh, but one of the things that he um, you know what brought to my attention is you know it, uh, you know it's not a massive squad um, you know and that might give like, open more doors for me to, to play more games it's important for me to play games um, and it's not a given at any club um, I have to earn it you know it doesn't matter what club it is um, but I'm willing to, to, to work hard and try and try and make sure that I'm a I'm a regular starter. Um, and he said that opportunity opportunity will be there for me uh, regarding that you know I'm doing the right thing. So it's a challenge. Um, I'm up for it. And and yeah, like hopefully we can achieve what we set out to achieve, which is in my opinion is to try and get promoted. I wouldn't be here if I didn't think that you know we there isn't no chance of getting promoted. Um, yes, I'm 30. But I'm still learning. Um, I don't think any player's not learning in the game. Um, so, you know, it's a challenge, and I'm just trying to to do the best I can for the club. That's that's the aim. Fantastic. Thank you, Jay. No problem.